Ten years ago, the demon lord Dimor very nearly conquered the kingdom of Faramor. The denizens of Faramor narrowly stopped Dimor, sealing him in a magic book using the Jewel of Faramor. Now, thanks to a traitorous noble, Dimor has been set free to terrorize the kingdom once again. And with the hero of the last struggle unwilling to do his part, it's down to Princess Arzette to collect the shards of the jewel from Dimor's minions and banish the demon once again. For this game, we really need to start with the visuals. Arzette is a graphical spoof of Faces of Evil and The Wand of Gamelon, the notorious CDI Zelda games. Both the in-game visuals and the cutscenes are close matches with hand-painted backgrounds and animation that really recalls the golden age of MS Paint. Arzette also strives to capture the feel of those games with wild characters and over-the-top voice acting. From a mechanical and design perspective, Arzette is what I would call a Shantai-like. It has discrete, mostly linear levels that the player will re-explore after gaining new powers in the style of a Metroidvania. The player will be expected to scour levels for items that enable new level interactions, beacons that unlock new levels, sacred candles used to clear the path to bosses and upgrades, and ultimately shards of the Jewel of Faramore. The way the game controls is very old school, and it may take a bit to get used to, but the game is overall very forgiving and should offer a respectable but reasonable challenge to most people. Don't mistake RZ for a gimmick. This is a very good platformer, and fans of the Shantai games in particular should definitely pick it up.